Hello, my name is Christine and welcome to today's video. Now on the internet, there are a ton of videos of we don't buy this anymore, 10 things my minimalist family doesn't buy. And I have made one or two videos of that myself. Now, however, my lists do not come from a place of minimalism or decluttering or stuff in my house. Mine actually come from a place of saving money. Today, we are going to put together a very long list. As long as I could possibly come up with all of the things that my family either doesn't buy anymore or have never bought in order to save money. Now listen, everyone's list is going to be a little bit different. The things that matter to you are going to be different than the things that matter to me and that's okay. So if I have something on my list that I don't buy and you do buy it, that does not mean that I am better than you or you are better than me. It just means we have different interests and priorities in our lives and that's fine. So this is my personal list. Take from it what you will. Hook me up with a thumbs up for the algorithm before we get started. Let's get to it. Now let's talk home decor, decor, decor. What's the right way to say that? How does Joanna Gaines say it? That's what we need to go by. I have mentioned this in previous videos, but look, I don't have anything on my walls. Look, there's nothing on my walls. The reasons for that are threefold. The meaning of the box is threefold. Basically, things cost money, <laughs> they weren't necessary, and I didn't want to spend money on it. I also don't really know what I'm doing. Like I can go to Pinterest and be like, oh, that looks so pretty, but I don't know how to buy those things to put them together. So I just do nothing. But in my house, like I don't have tchotchkes. I don't have things sitting around, little pumpkins. Like you're not going to find 37 pumpkins around my house in fall time. You are not going to find three Christmas trees in every single room in my house. They just cost a lot of money. I don't buy magazines. I mean, you can read everything online these days. So I don't see the point of magazines anymore. I don't have have basically any lamps in my house because I just turned the light on. <laughs> Is that so dumb? I also don't have any plants in my house. Don't have real ones because I'll probably kill them and I don't have fake ones because you have to dust them. And hello, efficient. I don't want to dust fake plants. I don't buy throw pillows. I've tried. They just annoy me. They're in my way. I can't sit on my couch. So they always end up on the floor and then I always have to put them back and then they end up on the floor and then to put them back. Ugh. A couple of other house things, we don't do themed sheets, character sheets, linens and things like that that are specific to characters or events or holidays and things like that. We have one set of linens per bed. We need to wash it, we wash it, we put it back on, we're done. I don't have a ton of extra towels hanging around. I stopped buying dryer sheets, tried the wool balls. Well, guess what? Christine doesn't buy the wool dryer balls anymore either because here's what really happens. This is what people don't tell you. At least this is what happens in my house. I don't do all the laundry in my house. Surprise! I do like me and Dave's laundry. Haley does her own laundry. All my boys do, do their own laundry. So here's what happens. They pull everything out of the dryer into their basket. They take it themselves into their room, fold it and put it away. And guess where the dryer balls go? I don't know, but they don't come back to the laundry room. To me, the dryer balls are more of a hassle than a help. I ex nay all of it. We're done. We're 86 in the dryer balls and the dryer sheets. It's not happening anymore. Let's head into the kitchen for some other stuff. I don't really like the one trick pony as my friend Alton Brown likes to say. Apple core. Can it call the apple? Oh, I can call the apple. Hate that thing. Don't have one. Dave liked it. He got one. And I just find like, this one is also a declutter issue. I don't want to spend the money on one. And also it just takes up room when it doesn't serve a purpose. It's kind of dull. Like it doesn't cut the apple very well. Just give me a knife. It's going to work better. That's why I don't really like a, a rice cooker. I never had one because I'd rather just cook it on the stove. And now that I have an instant pot, that does all these different things also is a rice cooker. I don't feel that I need one. The Instant Pot covers covers my bases with all these different things. So I feel like there's a ton of stuff I don't need in the kitchen. If there are some like one trick ponies you don't love in the kitchen, let me know what they are down below, but don't ever take my potato masher away from me. Not ever. <laughs> Since we're in the kitchen, let's talk about food in general. Grubhub, Postmate, Uber Eats, DoorDash, what are all of them even called? I was talking to a friend of mine and she said there's a girl at her work that does a DoorDash for lunch for her at work and then for her son at home every single day this summer. It costs $20 each. So it's $20 for her and $20 for her son every single day. If you are impeding other financial goals by blowing $40 a day on delivery lunch. Add that up real quick. Is that $200 a week? Is that $800 a month on lunch? 
the amount that that adds up to is staggering to me. In that same vein, I am going to bring up once again, like takeout drinks, let's call it. We're talking your Starbucks, Jamba Juice, fresh squeezed juice. I don't really know what people do other than Starbucks, honestly. The closest Starbucks to me is 30 miles away, and I talked about this in a previous video. I don't even know why I'm giving tips on Starbucks, but I guess a standard drink is gonna be five to nine dollars. That's not something we do. I don't go and get Jamba every day. I don't go get drinks every day. I am perfectly happy with my water. <laughs> from the tap and every once in a while a Diet Dr. Pepper because they are delicioso and I am from Texas. Fast food and going out to eat. I hate spending money on fast food. It's not even that cheap anymore. I went to a McDonald's recently because I had to. One of their meals, it was like almost $10 for a meal. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be so delicious. And it isn't, <laughs> except for Wendy's fries. Those are legit, okay. And Chick-fil-A sauce, okay, that's really legit. But Burger King, <clears throat> McDonald's, <clears throat> I'm not even happy with Subway these days. Two thumbs down. Going out to eat in general, Dave and I did maybe twice a year, like a birthday and an anniversary. Recently, we have been trying to do more date nights with just him and me. Now that doesn't always mean going out to eat, but we have been going out about twice a month. We still order water and we still split a meal. <laughs> or order off the appetizer menu because the portions are so enormous. It's ridiculous. We also don't buy drinks at restaurants because they're expensive and it's just, we just don't drink our calories, basically. That's not what we do. We just drink water most of the time, honestly. We don't buy bottled water on the regular. I have it for emergencies, so I do have some in my house, but like we don't just buy it to use regularly. We don't do like juice boxes, Capri Suns, all of that stuff anymore for kids' lunches. We don't do alcohol. We don't do prepackaged fruits and vegetables. You know, that like sliced bell pepper in the store and it's beautiful and it's $8 for like two bell peppers. Oh my gosh. I always said that I would know I have made it financially. Like I am wealthy. I am independently rich. If I can go in there and buy the pre-cut fruit basket. That day will be the day that I have made it. And today is not that day <laughs> because I don't wanna pay like $10 for essentially one mango and three strawberries. <laughs> now, one of the big things that we don't buy is anything full price before we've checked for a sale, a discount code, anything like that on the internet. I live in a small town. It's hard to find things in this area in general, which means I do a lot of online shopping in order to find the things that I need. All my Amazon peeps out here, check it. There is this awesome website called Rebay. They are sponsoring today's video, but I would not be telling you about it if I did not think it was super awesome. They have a website which basically gives you cash back rebates on Amazon items. It's really easy to use. I made sure to use the site, purchase items, and get my cash back before I decided to even tell you about it at all. The purpose of the site is that they are trying to get Amazon sellers to have more legitimate purchases. You do not have to leave a review when you buy these items. Find what you want, purchase the item, enter in the order number on rebate so they can see that it's a verified purchase, and then they send you back the rebate for the amount they've listed. My favorite way to do this, I sort by the highest rebate possible. And a lot of these are free, okay? And then I click the show available now button because sometimes they sell out of the amount of items they have listed for that day. And then I scroll through and see if there is something that is gonna be useful for me. Things that I would actually use, which is another one of the things that I don't buy is I don't buy things unless I actually am going to use them. Number one is this total immune daily defense. For the last year and a half, my family has been trying to take more immunity uh, boosting products, vitamins, herbs, things like that. It's worked really, really well. This one ended up being completely free. All I did is I clicked the button. It takes you to the page on Amazon. You buy it on Amazon, just like normal. It's an Amazon purchase. That's it. Take the order number, go back to rebate, enter it in within like four hours or something like that. And then they see that it is an approved purchase and they put the money into your account and then they mail you out a check in a couple weeks. I was looking for some organization in the dresser and they had one. I think it ended up being a dollar or it was super cheap after the rebate. It's these organizer pieces like this, the whole set. And then these zip on the bottom, like this is so cool. There's like eight of them. I bought them off of Amazon, but then got a rebate back. This really pretty storage basket. It's huge actually. Am I outside in? Who's to say? I'll just get in it, how's that? I can sit in it. <laughs> Tell me you have not seen these at Target and stuff everywhere. I paid $2 for this after the rebate. And if you're asking if the rebate's legit, um, yes, it is. 
here's my check. So I got back $39.80 for these three items. It's valid for 90 days. It's just your standard check. Detach here. If you are also interested in online shopping on Amazon, but finding a deal and you want to check out Rebay to see if you like it, check out my link down below in the doobly-doo. It's the first link down there. You do not have to. It does not cost you anything to just go take a look at it and see if there's anything that you would be interested in. Check it out. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to the rest of that list. Oh, the lighting in here. Wow. Okay. The next category is entertainment and the show must go on. While I don't buy DVDs anymore, we also don't have cable TV. Hello it's not 2010 anymore it's all about the streaming here's another tip for you is you could kind of go through your monthly subscriptions like just look at them what are you subscribing to hulu netflix acorn tv amazon prime disney plus discovery plus and then you have your exercise apps like i had the peloton app i actually just canceled it why? Not because I don't like it, but because I've been exercising outside and it's gone unused for about three months. What a waste of money. So just tally up what you're doing and cancel the ones you're not using. You don't need all of the things at the same time. One thing that we definitely do not buy anymore, cheap bikes. As you can see, we have a lot of bikes in here. We are a cycling family. I road bike, do triathlons, all my boys do mountain biking, and Dave and I are mountain bike coaches for the youth high school mountain bike team. Yes, it's a lot of bikes. It's one of our huge hobbies. My son has started a bike tuning, bike tune-ups, bike washing, bike fixing job. And what he's noticing is like this mongoose bike right here is a very cheap, I'll call it a Walmart bike. What that means is when the parts break, you cannot replace them. They are unreplaceable. You cannot upgrade them. So once a piece breaks, it's almost impossible to fix. This is not the case on a more expensive bike like this one hanging from the ceiling. All of the pieces are replaceable and upgradable, which means if something goes wrong, we can fix it and we can keep it. Usually what happens more often than not with these cheaper bikes is they end up in a landfill, rusted heap of garbage because once they break, you cannot fix them. This is one topic where it is good to pay a little bit more money. If you want any info about like what you're looking for when it comes to mountain bikes and high quality and stuff, I'll leave a video down below that I did with Dave on what to look for, especially when buying a used bike. The next category is they grow up so fast. And I'm talking about being a mom to kids. And speaking of kids, let's talk about toys. And toys is not something we buy anymore. Part of that is because my kids are older. They've kind of aged out CDs. Do they even make CDs anymore? I don't know that I have a CD player anymore. I'm joking. It'll be fine. Stuffed animals. Can we talk about stuffed animals? I hate stuffed animals. That's always the thing that they end up with. It's the present from the grandparents. It's birthday presents. It's presents from their friends at school. It's the, it's the thing that they like, baby gifts. Why do kids accumulate so many germ infested stuffed animals? I am so glad that we are past the stuffed animal stage. This one might surprise you about Halloween costumes. I don't buy Halloween costumes. Um, we kind of cut off trick-or-treating at 12 at our house. I think trick-or-treating is really for the little kids. I only have one kid <laughs> that goes trick-or-treating anymore. And guess what? We have a whole bin of costumes that he can pick from. He can pick any of them. And if he doesn't like them, he can make one up. Now, does that mean my kids don't dress up anymore? No, because they go to parties, they dress up to hand out the candy and it's really fun for them, but they are very creative and they will come up with amazing stuff with a garbage bag and duct tape. Just give them the challenge and they will do it. We're not a video game family. We have a Wii. Hold on now. I know, we have a Wii, not the, what was the other one? The Wii U, not even that one, the old one, the original one. I love me some Mario Kart. In fact, beating me on Rainbow Road, that means you've got some chops, okay? But I cannot remember the last time my kids played that. Tablets, computers, like kid devices, if you know what I mean. My kids don't have those. There's no tablets, there's no iPads, there's no, there's no none of that. We also don't buy kids books. I kind of moved away from buying paperback books because they're just gonna get kind of ruined. Birthday present, wait. <laughs> We don't buy birthday presents for extended family. We do things for our family only, but when you have an extended family as large as ours, and I realize some of you, you're gonna have a bigger one, I get it. I'm trying to think of how many nieces and nephews I have. Dave, can you help me? 27 on your side. I have 35 nieces and nephews. That's a lot of birthday presents. That's more than two a month. Could you imagine trying to do birthday presents and Christmas presents for all of those people? <laughs> Holiday themed, 
stuff as far as like hosting a party. So you're hosting Thanksgiving, you're hosting Christmas, you're hosting a Halloween party. We don't buy holiday themed items, mostly because we don't host very much. <laughs> paper cups, paper plates, paper bowls, throwaway utensils and things like that. Bathroom and clothing items. Is there an echo in here? A little bit? Ugh. Beauty products. I'm a simple girl. I'm basic, things that get the job done. So I find the products I like, I keep those and I don't buy any more. Lipstick. I'm a chapstick girl. I put it on all day long like that. I have never, not ever, found one lipstick that feels as good as chapstick does on my lips. Instead, I will highlight my eyes with some black mascara and leave my lips to the chapstick and go oh natural. Girl razors, uh, no, they don't work. I don't know why <laughs> they think a girl's razor needs to be pink. Give me a man's razor any day they get the job done. I don't do many petties they're super expensive. I also don't have one of those like puma stone feet scrubby thingy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Once again, I'm a simple girl. I wash my feet <laughs> and I paint my toenails myself and that's about as far as we go. Perfume. I use a body spray and it lasts me a really long time. Like you go ch 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 one bottle from Bath & Body Works lasts me six months. Easy. I don't purchase excess jewelry anymore. <laughs> it is something that I did when I was younger, but as I'm like older now, yes, I'm, I'm like almost midlife crisis age right now. I have a couple of jewelry pieces that are super nice and that I like. Like I wear this butterfly one all the time. It is real sterling silver and these heart earrings, real sterling silver. I wear them all the time. Other than that, I have a few dangly earrings, maybe one or two other necklaces. That's some shoes that I don't buy anymore are stilettos and uncomfortable shoes for my feet, which would be most high heels. I do have heels, but they're all wedges or they're up just a little bit. I used to buy stilettos in my 20s and oh my gosh, my feet cannot handle that anymore. So I try and buy shoes that are much flatter, but still super cute. I do have some multiple purses, but I don't feel like I have too many, although some might disagree with that. I don't have multiple wallets, I have one wallet. Even if I change purses, I just need to pull my wallet out and I'm good. And lastly is I try not to participate in fashion trends too heavily. Number one, I feel like a lot of them are made very cheaply, so they're not gonna last the long term. You will never go wrong with basic classic pieces. For example, I have a black pencil skirt I purchased when Haley was one year old. So it is now 16 years old, this one black pencil skirt, and it is still in style. I can still wear it today. So investing in quality classic pieces that will stand the test of time to me make a lot more sense anything with interest and what i mean by that is we don't buy things on credit or we don't get a loan for them the only exception to this rule is a house everything else we buy with cash and i don't mean we hand over cash i mean like we can do a cashier's check or we can use a card but i have the money in the bank to pay for it in that moment and yes that does include cars we buy all of our cars used i buy one that is easy to fix much like the bikes you know you can't really go wrong with a honda or a toyota you really can't the parts are cheap they are inexpensive cars to insure, to drive, and to maintain. Really try not to buy cheaply made products like furniture, clothing, shoes, bikes, cars, uh, all that kind of thing. I don't wanna buy like cheap garbage that's going to break almost instantly. I just wanna get something that's going to last me a long time. And last, and definitely not least, is we don't buy anything that we can't afford. That means we look at our budget, we make financial goals every year, which I have definitely shared on this channel and my second channel, which I'll leave down below. We try and make financial decisions based on our long-term financial goals. And if there is something that's going to impede that heavily, we just don't do it. So that is my list of things today that we do not buy because of money, because we want to save money. If you want to check out Rebay to get some Amazon products for basically free, like I got some of mine for free or very, very little, check out the link down in the doobly-doo. I'll leave it down there for you, for you to go check out. It doesn't cost you a thing. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.